Can we really hack sleep? It's one of the oldest biological processes on Earth, refined over millions of years. Yet today we talk about it as if it's an app, something to upgrade or optimize or even a shortcut. Cold plunges, magnesium, melatonin gummies, sleep trackers, everyone's trying to hack rest. But here's the real question. What if sleep isn't something you hack, but something you restore? Because when it comes to the brain, there is no substitute for sleep. When you close your eyes, your brain begins one of the most powerful repair rituals known to biology. During the first few hours, you enter slow wave sleep. Your body repairs tissues, balances hormones, and clears out toxins through the glymphatic system, your brain's built-in cleaning crew. Later in the night, REM sleep takes over, helping your brain consolidate memory. It regulates emotions and strengthens learning. Every stage matters. Every hour has a purpose. So where did this idea of hacking sleep come from? Mostly from exhaustion. We built a culture that treats rest as weakness, that glorifies the four-hour grind, and then buys blue light glasses to fix what the grind broke. But science says otherwise. A University of California study found that sleeping less than six hours a night increases your risk of heart diseases by 30% and weakens your immune system by nearly half. And in the brain, chronic sleep deprivation causes amyloid buildup, the same toxic protein linked to Alzheimer's. When we cut sleep, we don't just lose energy, we lose resilience. So can we really hack our way to better sleep? Maybe not, but we can help the body to do what it's natural designed for. Here's what neuroscience shows. Get sunlight within the first hour after waking. It resets your internal clock and tells your brain when to release melatonin later. Lower stimulation before bed. Switch off all your screens. That single change can restore melatonin by up to 80% in just one week. Cool your environment around 18 to 20 degrees Celsius. Your brain knows it's time to power down when your body cools down. And keep your sleep schedule consistent because irregular patterns confuse your internal clock and makes Monday mornings feel like jet lag. When you get it right, within a week, cortisol drops. Within two weeks, focus improves. Within a month, emotional balance returns. And within three months, deep sleep cycles lengthen, boosting memory, creativity, and resilience. That's not hacking, that's healing. We've all tried to cheat sleep. We've told ourselves, five hours is fine, I'll catch up later. Except you can't. Sleep debt isn't like a, a bank account. Once you lose it, it's gone. Because the brain's repair programs only run at night. When you skip sleep, you skip recovery. You're not just tired, you're slower, more reactive, and you age faster. But here's the good news. The brain forgives. When you give it the right conditions, it rebuilds itself faster than you think. A Stanford study showed that extending sleep from 5 to 7 hours restored memory and reaction speed in just 10 days. Another study found that better sleep hygiene for 4 weeks, just 4 weeks, led to structural growth in white matter the brain's communication wiring. So no, you can't hack your way around sleep, but you can design your life so sleep works for you. You don't need a gadget. You don't need uh, anything fancy. You need rhythm. You don't need supplements either. You need darkness and quiet. You don't need hacks. You need habits. Because sleep isn't something to optimize. It's the foundation on which optimization is even possible. So tonight, ask yourself this question. If you could see what your brain looks like after five hours of sleep, would you still trade rest for one more hour of scrolling? Because the truth is, we can't hack sleep. But if we respect it, it can still heal us.